Hey guys, I wanted to show you this new book that I wasn't able to buy from Miss Dee Dee, her channel, Miss Dee Dee Willingham. She was um, showing her collection and she came across this book and I absolutely just freaked out when I saw it because I love um, stuff like this. This is Outside the Lines Street Art Doodle Book. I have two other Outside the Line books and they're just as much fun. I don't color in them a lot, but I just love to look at them. I, 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 they're just inspirational. So, um, I went and I looked for the book. I couldn't find it new, but I... I found it at a thrift store online for like five bucks. And they did have others, the different places, but they were more expensive. But I found this book for five bucks. And it's 256 pages of coloring and doodle from over 75 street artists from around the world. And all of their names are on here. And uh, I'm not going to flip through every single page because... It is a huge book, but just to give you an idea of some of the coolness in here, I have to show you some of this. It is just so neat. Um, yeah, I love street art. I live in New Orleans, and we have a lot of street art here. I take pictures, and, you know, oh, I love this. I have a book with this guy. I know he's the same one. The wave guy. That's got to be him. Hold on a second. That's got to be him. Shan or her. Chantel Martin. I bet you. Yep. Chantel Martin. I knew it. Ha! Knew it. Anyways, um, after you do this for so long, you start recognizing different artists and stuff. So, yeah, I love the Wave book. It is amazing, and I love this artwork. Please draw all over this page. Yes, I think I will. This is so super cool. I mean, this is the kind of page, like, I would, if I was testing a marker or something, and I just wanted to see what it looked like, this would be a great page to test, and then just come back, try it all, and then sooner or later, it'll be all filled in. Big old elephant right here. Some of it you can't see, because the lines are really thin. I just love, love, love it. This art is not for everybody. But I love this kind of stuff. To me, this could just be a coffee table book, in my opinion. You just put this on your table and have people look at, look at it. But me, I have to color this. I really need to color some of this. I colored two pages, I think. Just playing around, testing out some stuff. I love the treehouse. This is so cool. I was so happy when Dee Dee showed this. I was like, I have to get this book. I had never heard of it. This will be fun to color. Some of them I would never color just because it's just not my thing. But then the other ones, oh my gosh, I would definitely go crazy in here. Like, I'd probably not color this one. Um, I would definitely color this one. The strange and unusual. That's what I like. See, this is neat. Very cool. And this. I love these faces. I was seriously thinking about um, cutting this out and putting it in my art journal because I like all the faces. But then I really like the back of this page, so I didn't want to do that. So I may just make a copy of it. I don't want to rip it out the book. Random doodles. All kinds of little cool things. Which color will you choose? See, just random. I love it. It's 
it's an art book just in its own right, you know. I would just be enhancing it with some color because it's amazing. Please draw all over this page. Big fat expletive art thing. Alrighty then. No idea what this is. Oh, that's a keyboard. Now I'm gonna get this way. That's a keyboard and it's the mouse. Okay. Duh. Oh, that's a skull. And the rays of light coming out the skull. That's awesome. See, I wouldn't color that probably. I would probably try out some ink spray or something on here. But I wouldn't just like go detail and, and start coloring that. What did I eat for lunch? Oh my gosh. And then you could draw in what they ate for lunch. That's kind of gross and cool at the same time. Oh, Sokola list. Wish list. Nope. I don't know what that is. Nothing keeps moving. Sorry, guys. We got a dot to dot thing over here. Please draw all over this page. Thank you very much. Street art is so amazing to me. I just can't get enough of it. Um, I have a couple of books that are tattoo art as well. And their art style is so different. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love this whole page. I like the thicker lines like that. It's see a lot easier. It is sing um, double-sided, though. That's the one thing I don't like. You can't really use your... Um, your markers unless you know you don't like the page on the back or you don't mind ruining it what strange alien cultures dwell on Mars Good question that's me that is oh this is cool too dang I love faces. I will definitely be coloring this. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to show all the pictures, but my little niece says this all the time. I wrote that in here for my niece. She always says, this is bullshit. And <laughs> we need to stop it, but yeah, she's six. It's fine. This is that same artist that I knew Chantel Martin or whatever. I like this page, and I wanted to color the face, but I hate that the face is right in the crease like that. That sucks. This is the back side of the page that I did with Copic markers, but when I was flipping through it earlier, I was like, I really like how it went through because this page is so random. It almost works. It just gives this page a little color. So this is me too. So just random. I was practicing with some markers and watching TV, and this was just really easy, relaxing to color, so I just started with the markers. So, this is the only thing I've colored so far. And I really had fun. It was nice to color something just big and don't have to think about it. Draw something odd on this one. I can tell. I will. See, like this, I won't color this just because of all the random scribbly lines. This one's neat. The happy face in the Sherlock Holmes um, side view. What did you see today? <laughs> this is neat. Yeah, I don't like the random. I don't like the scribble scratch art like that. Personal preference. <laughs> this page is a trip. I love this page. And then you can just draw your own creeper over here. So, definitely going to do that. What did you say? 
and it's upside down too. Forget it. And you can finish drawing whatever here. I like the interactive ones. All right, let's see. Danger Dungeon. Game for two players, humans only. Color the characters below. Cut them or caref cut them carefully along the gray dotted line. One player selects circles, the others crosses. Using the dungeon opposite, it takes turn it takes turns to place a character in each one of the rooms. The first player to lay three characters in a row is the winner. So it's creepy tic tac toe, guys. I am so going to print this out. I'm going to color it and then I'm going to laminate it and then I'm going to bring it to work. I work at a nursing home. They'll love it. I'll print it out and put it on a little heavier cardstock. I love the bag of fuzzies. They're so cute. And this looks like a Russian Patrushka Patris Patris doll. I don't know. This is awesome. I love all the little things inside. She's a creeper. So yeah, you get the idea. Very cool. Lots. I will so color all of this. I love everything about this page. I love it. Yeah, this is a very, very cool book if you can find it. I mean, it's well worth the five bucks I spent on it, but I would have spent a lot more on it. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I definitely would have bought it for a lot more. Hey kids, what a hot day. Can you help Mitch Officer Schmidt and their small friends out and draw them something nice to lick on? I was wondering why their tongues were hanging out. Neat. The puppets. Too. Creepy monster. Be a cool streetwear designer. Just cruising. Air shred. Love your hair. Hey, nice shoes. So, you get to color this person's creepy hair, and then you're going to color and draw his shoes. I don't know what these are, but they're adorable. It's probably some kind of weird fungus or something, but it's very cool. Very cute. It would take five minutes to color. And then they got the table of contents where you can go and find the authors of each page and tell you exactly where they are. Now go outside and play, it says. I like that it's a brick wall. This is what the spine looks like. Street art doodle book. Outside the lines. This is what the front looks like. And this is what the back looks like. Alright, if you have any questions or comments, I will definitely get back to you guys. Um, leave them down at the bottom. If you haven't hit that like button, please do. It helps me out. And um, please sub and hit the little bell over there. That will give you reminders for whenever I am on. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for um, subbing to my channel. Bye-bye.